Yo, como están? It's Wild on Tuesday, and thank you for joining my channel. We're here in a beautiful day in San Antonio, just coming from lunch. We're gonna go pick up a nice gun that I won in the raffle. This week's topic is bikers are human too. Let's go. Yo, como están? It's Wild on Tuesday, and thank you for joining my channel. Please, before we get started, hit that like and that subscribe and the little bell for future notifications. Uh, I do see the statistics on the algorithms, and I my subscribers don't watch as much as the videos I wish they watched. So please watch the videos, hit the like, help the algorithm. So this week's topic came to the, well, the title is "Bikers Are Humans Too." The reason I said that was lately I've been noticing, and not lately, the past year on the comment sections, people are surprised about what I do uh, from flying planes, other things, and uh, during the live shows, people really like interacting with us and are surprised how basically human people we really are. And that goes with bikers and clubs and dependents, everybody. We get a persona through, through civilians in general. I call people civilians that are not bikers. So let's just call them civilians for some reason. And even independent bikers, because they represent bikers as a whole. There's motorcycle enthusiasts. There's all these different titles we want to put on people. But we got to remember that people view us like objects. They see helmets in our faces. They don't see personality. They don't see what we do. They don't see what we go through, what jobs we have what families we have, if we have kids, brothers, sisters, whatever. So, and these are stories that we talk about all the time. There, there's a point I had an interview with someone from a 1% club, and I had someone else call me, and we talked about, in, in this interview, I talked about the gentleman's past, his military experiences, he's a veteran, and his PTSD. I had people reach out to me from different clubs, even rival clubs, how they related to this person. They saw the human in him. They saw what we all have, everybody have in dude. We all have something in common that our blood is red. We all have struggles. There's not one person that does not have a struggle. I don't care if you're the richest person in the world or not. There's a struggle, there is depression, there is anxiety, there's PTSD, there's a lot of other issues. Club members from 1% clubs have jobs just like everybody else. People from 99% clubs have jobs like everybody else. I can tell you here in San Antonio, all of these clubs, I know guys that are, I mean, accountants, lawyers, doctors, I mean, you name it, uh, blue collar workers. Everybody has work, everybody has jobs, trades, from pilots, mechanics, MAs, I mean, everything's there. So we gotta remember when we are out and about, we're human like everybody else too. And that goes with our rights. And that's why we're really big about promoting our rights and the positivities of bikers and MCs. Because people like, and some of us like having the nostalgia of the what some people fear or respect. But at the end of the day, we have to remember the consequences that does for us as a whole. The reason I do this channel is to help promote motorcycles, bikers, MCs to the younger crowd, even older crowd, to become new members of MCs, to become new bikers, to become new motorcycle enthusiasts, to become something. I don't care if they want to be a YouTube creator, but the reason that I do this is so somehow maybe I can help someone else out that doesn't think that they can do something. or. I have the comments and people reach out to me surprised that I can actually speak probably or the things that I do and uh, the, I don't know, the videos just like Hollywood, BD, other creators everybody has a point of view even so everybody has something they're aiming for there's a point of view and an opinion not everybody's always correct I'm not maybe I might not be correct we go off history and what we've been through what we've seen and experienced the wisdom that we learned and picked up over the years from graybeards so remember that we everybody's human bikers are human 
we all make mistakes even on these channels people make mistakes they say the wrong thing sometimes because like myself I don't have a script for this I say something and maybe later on I don't even edit my stuff really I let it play out let me fix this camera I let it play out and what I say is what I say sometimes trust me I go back watch my video and I say shit I would have said something differently if I rehearse this over and over and over again, yeah, I can probably sound perfect as hell and say exactly, I don't know, something intelligent. But I just go on this ride and ramble. I'm here with my old lady, Jess. Uh, gonna, Like I said, going to go pick up a gun uh, that I won in the raffle. And I just had this thought in my head. And I had another topic I wanted to talk about, but for some reason this just kept popping up. And I thought it was really important for me to just put out a video and just say that we're a human too and like I like I said before that goes back to our rights also from the police officers that judge us that stereotype us that uh, harass us from everybody who looks at us and think that we're just gonna cause problems they don't allow us to wear colors into bars or establishments or park our bikes at certain areas we got to help each other out as a whole as a community I don't care if you're a 1% club 99% club I don't believe this in kumbaya bullshit. It's not going to happen with a lot of clubs. The whole thing is understanding where you're at and what you're doing. What could that cause for the rest of the scene? MC scene, biker scene. I mean, something happens at an establishment now. No, we're no longer able to go there. Go handle your business somewhere else. I mean, there's so, so many things you can do. Well, I'm just getting close to this area, and I just wanted to put a little rant. If you guys want to hit me up in the comment section, please do. Leave me what you think. This Saturday, Jess, my old lady Jess, Dee Dee's old lady Tia, are going to take over our channels. We're not going to be there. It's going to be the ladies themselves, the old ladies, shooting it up, talking crap. I don't know what they're going to do or talk about, so it kind of scares me and worries me. It's going to be 6 p.m. Central this Saturday. After that, it's going to be BD and... Hollywood from Insane Throttle, they're going to interview the international president of the Vogels MC. Then we have Sunday night. I think we're going to go 8 p.m. Central, the Nutra Zone with Hollywood, myself, Danny D'Lo, and the old ladies come in there and talk. We shoot the shit. We're not too serious. We don't take things too serious. We have a good time, have some weird topics. The other topic, I had to take it off YouTube. Uh, right away because uh, we were talking about sex and a bunch of, I mean, I, a lot of stuff. Until next week, much love and respect. Peace.